I didn't hit a good shot at all. It's gonna be hard to make a puff from there. So look, we got a five hole. I think we should do stroke play. Five hole stroke play, straight up. Me versus Pat P. I'm telling you, this guy has game. Hopefully, I brought my game with me today. Y'all know me. I'm like Jr. Smith. I'm, I'm either I'm either hot, or I'm either cold. You know what I'm saying? You ain't I'm either, no whiskey, are you? I'm either Cleveland Jr. You know, getting the free throw, and not knowing what to do with it. <laughs> Or oh, I'm Denver Nugget Jr. You know what I'm saying? So and Jr. is my guy. Yeah, shout that out to Jr. Smith. Guy. He's a golfer <laughs> as well. Hopefully we can get him out here on that channel. Um, but yeah, we out here at Ganey Ranch. We're gonna do five hole stroke play. Um, Y'all know what we do, man. We play golf. Oh, I'm a little hooky today. Nice. Oh, in the cart path. It'll be alright. I'm a little hooky. I'm a little hooky. And that is what you call right down the middle. <laughs> oh, can't find my teeth. No bag to But I got no plenty more. <laughs> As you saw, I hit a bad shot on the tee shot. Uh, felt weird. This is where my ball is. Can you see that right there, bro? Not it out. That's not bad. What number you just gave me, bro? Mike, I think your job is secure, Mike. I think you're good, Mike. All right. We're on the green, and we putting. All right, so P, so you played in like almost all the pro-ams. I think the only one that I think you haven't played in yet is the AT&T. don't remind me. It, it'll be there, it'll be that song for sure, for sure. But you play in the ACC all the time. Y'all just came back from the ACC, I think yep. two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, I got, I talked to your guy, our guy, Mike. Mm -hmm. Mike Magical. El Tigre, my guy. <laughs> and he told me about, I think last year, um, when you guys, when you were just on fire. Yeah. Any any putt that I saw, I felt like I was make. I felt like I was gonna make it. I hit the shot right, and we couldn't find it at first. Then we ended up finding it, it was like deep in the deep in the trees, and some mulch. It was a. I had to punch it out. Obviously, take my medicine. That's what. Yeah. That's going back to patience. Yeah. 
take my medicine, punch out. Hopefully, get a good shot to hit it up there and um, hit it up there in three and make the uh, the fourth, uh, the uh, the one putt the par. So I have my gap wedge in my hand, which is almost like my favorite wedge to have in my hand, hitting into a green. Yeah. And I hit it to about 17 feet. I kind of missed it a little bit, but like I said, everything, every putt I saw, I felt like I was gonna make it. Yeah. And it was a it was a real, it was like almost like a double breaker putt. And Michael said, hit it for me right here, Ben. That's what he always yeah. told me, Ben. So he said, hit it right here. This is the thing, hit it right here. I was like, all right. I said, you sure, Mike? He was like, yeah, just hit it right there and you're going to make it. I said, all right. And, this, and mind you, this is first year caddying with me okay. at this time. This is first okay, year. Okay. So he really don't, he know the greens and Mike's a good putter, but he don't know the greens because right, there is tricky. Yeah. So I hit the putt. I was like, oh, that got a shot. That got a shot. And I gave one of those old Tiger, Tiger fist pump. Yeah, he said y'all got super hype. Yeah, we got super hype. And from that moment on, man, we had a great night. And and leading up to that, after that round, the next day was my birthday. Ah. So we went over and we played, like I said, played out of my mind. I'm in second place right now. My first time in the top 10 right, even right, in, right. in any tournament. So I'm hyped. And the next day was Sunday and it was like, whew. Went downhill from there. <laughs> ah. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Just got a long putt to make. All right. Let's see if we get this birdie in the hole. Mind you, I got you. Me and Pat played the other day, and he got a different putter on him. Oh, this is the gamer. <laughs> Had to bring the gamer. So that just shows you right there. And I'm the same way. I mean, anybody knows me, I might be hitting the driver really good for a month, and then go on the trip and be like, I don't want to bring this driver with me. Yep. I just be like to see, I like to see just different stuff. Nuts. Let's get close. That's not bad. What is that for? That's, this should be for both. He gave me one, I'll take it. So that was very nice of him right there. Still early. He gave me that one, he missed his putt. We talked about that three putt. And I opened up the game. I opened up our match with a three putt. Birdie's coming. Staying with the Arizona Golf. In the summertime, the green slow down just a little bit. So you gotta get that touch back. I know you play with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. You've been to a lot of places. Yep. Um, you play golf is taking you to what, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, Italy, Europe, yeah, Europe. Yeah, all over the place. I played uh, Barcelona. Yeah. All over Spain. Have you played in Monaco? Did y'all play yeah, in Monaco? Yeah, I played in France, south, of, uh, the coast of France. All these places you've been, give me the best foursome that you can come up with okay. at the best course that you would love to go play. In. Man, Kings born in Scotland. I played St Andrews as well. I played, you know, I played St Andrews. I played Cyprus. Pine Valley. I played all the top five courses. Right. Um, but my favorite one of all is Kings Barnes. There was something about Kings Barnes that was just freaking special. That that's my favorite course of all time. Uh, my yeah, Kings Barnes in uh, Scotland. Uh, my the my foursome I would like to play with. Um, I would love to play with President Obama. Definitely got to play with the first black president of the United States. Um, Hell, if if Martin Luther King was a, especially during this time, if he was a guy that was still alive and and, and, and played the game on golf, I would love to have him yes. in my foursome. I like it. I like and it. I can't figure out my forget the goat man, Fitzy. I Fitzy love playing Fitzy with my guy my Fitzy, God. man. So, uh, man, Fitzy uh, has done so much for me, not only for on the field but for the game of golf because. 
he was one of the guys that actually took me on my first out of the country golf trip which was in australia we went to uh we went to sydney we went over to uh, maribourne and that really opened my eyes and that was after the 2014 season if i'm not mistaken and that what and that's what really opened my eyes about golf that golf can really take you to some really really special places yeah, yeah. places you've never been before places you never even thought about before or even thought about ever going to a big shout out to fitzy man for, for for all he has done for me um through my young career although this is year 10 yeah, right. i still 30. feel like it's young I'm, I'm i'm at the halfway mark i i feel like i got at least seven to to nine more left in me but um that's my that's my foursome i would love to play with and we would have to play at king's barn i like it yep larry we gotta have you on we gotta have you on the channel you already know what time it is if you don't i'm gonna knock on your door i know where you live we're gonna get you out baby <laughs> Nice. Nah, that's gonna be good. We should do that. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's it, huh? Mm hmm. Draw. Woo! I'll take it! I like when that ball draw like that. Good shots, good shots. Both good shots. So, y'all know. All my all my subscribers, all my people, my driver probably the weakest cover my bag, so I got it. You know, we've been talking about how we we nerds and geeks in the game. So I talked to my guy Tony Fee now, and he told me, you know, when you're tall and long, you got to get that thing cut short so you can get that control on the club. So I got my shaft cut down about an inch, and ever since then I've been hitting it good. So I better watch out. Stick it close. Yes, sir. I need to. I ain't gonna get that that many uh luck good luck breaks like I did in the first off. I take it. Oh! No! Don't go on the sand. Don't go on the sand. Now that's what you call golf. What you think you did wrong on that? to hit that shot like that. Oh, I'll tell you right now. I was really quick. I didn't get the club down below the ball, so I hit it like oh, right here and it just skipped out. In the golf world, a thinny. Yeah, I hit that thin, dog. <laughs> That's when you're in the suck world right there. <laughs> that was terrible. Come on, man. Man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go in the hole, though. Go in the hole, though. Bro, you got that? Ah! I'll take it. Good See, that's golf right there. You know what I'm saying? If, if let me let me talk to you, Robert. Get close to my face. You know, if I would have got upset, hold on, Pat. Hold on, Pat. Hold on, Pat. Hold on, Pat. If I would have got upset and been pissed and my blood would have been boiling, I would hit a bad shot. But now I gotta tap in par. Now Pat gonna hit this birdie. That's what you call a golf shot right there. That's a hell of a golf shot. That's a golf shot. Is that is that good? Is that good, folks? Write down in the comments below if you think that's good. Uh, dislike the uh, video if you don't think it's good. But I think it's good. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Mm. And that's golf for you as well. That's golf. Right now. I'm up one stroke, mm -hmm. but I ain't gonna smile yet because <laughs> we are not close enough to the end for me to be happy about being one up. You guys might not know, but I had a golf tournament um, last summer. 2019 Fast Forever Golf Tournament. It was super dope. Down in uh, at Purcell Farm. Shout out to Martin Purcell. But the reason why I got that rolling is because Pat 
had a tournament. He has his tournament called P2 Ryder Cup. This year was the P2 match play. Yeah. And uh, I basically challenged my our guy, Average Joe Golf, Joe G, telling him, like, I was like, hey, man, Pat and Alex got a tournament going. <laughs> Why don't Bryson Joe got a tournament, man? What, what are you doing? You're supposed to be the golf agent, man. Why don't I got a tournament? And two months later, we had a golf tournament, really dope golf tournament. So I want to talk to you about that, man. Like, how, how did I get started? Um, they wanted me to have events like that out there, and I was just thinking of something cool. Um, and I just wanted to just just have a, a almost like a guy's trip. Yeah. You know, and that's what it was. It was 16 of us, but my first year was 16 of us. And it, uh, we just had like a, a fun Ryder Cup format. We had first day was a, a, uh, a scramble. Next day, uh, the next round was best ball. And the last round was individual matches, which it was a hell of a time. But this year, I have, I have to say, this year was probably the funnest one because it was, we kind of took the format from the Dell match play challenge that the, uh, the PGA guy used. Yeah. Um, so this year was all individual matches, which was pretty cool. You had we had four pots. It was four four men in each pot. You play everybody in your pot once, and whoever had the most points out of that pot goes on to the semifinals. And everybody who didn't play in the loser bracket, um, and then the, and it was a great success. We had belts this year as uh, as uh, the trophies, yep. and it was an awesome turnout, man. The, the guys really really enjoyed that. So next year I really don't know which format I'm going to use because right. I enjoy the match play so much but other guys like the team aspect yeah. of it as well. I will tell you when it was the team format I was 2-0 and no. but then when <laughs> we went to individual format your boy got ousted in the, uh, in the the boy got ousted in the cup play you know what I'm saying I was second I was second out of my group I think Byron came out of our group yeah Byron did come man out that made me so mad I thought I was gonna have an easy win on Byron but Byron <laughs> tore my behind Man, uh, Byron, that's his course, man. Yeah, that's his course. He be there all the time. Yeah, that's where he lived. He lived on that joint. Oh my god. So I'm not trying to win. If you can see what I've been doing on each hole, I'm not trying to win. That ball went in the water because I didn't hit. I didn't hit a good shot at all. It's gonna be hard to make a par from there. It's gonna be hard to make a par from there, dog. <laughs> That's a good shot, especially when that ball was wiggling on the tee like that. Get back there. Ah. I gotta make one of those miraculous bunker shots that Bryce just did. All right, so I got a drop, elbow. I mean knee. I got about 85 yards. Oh, that stopped, huh? Yeah, just on the That's fine. You got a putt, you got a putt. Thing about these arrows on the bunkers too, sand is a little hard, so I gotta be very precise with this shot. I wanna try to hit it on the fringe, maybe a foot off the green, cause it looked like it's a downhill once it gets on. Hopefully it feeds to the hole back to the right. Let's see what we got. Open that club face up like a frying pan, as you see. <laughs> Dig in, I want the ball right at the heel of my front foot. Oh, that was nice. Get in the hole. Woo. Oh, that was nice. Did exactly what I wanted it to do. Right there. <laughs> Thanks, brother. So apparently we both know how to hit good sand shots. <laughs> We've already knocked that check mark off. Yep. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. All right, so I was up one with that last hole. I hit one in the water, dropped two, hit three, four, five. So I had a double bogey, he had a par. So I go from just, it's golf. I go from being up one to being down one because I gave up two strokes right there. So we are going into hole four, down one. What am I gonna do? Let's try to figure it out. Um, Alright, let's see what we got. Yeah. 308 to the trees. I'm going big dog. Big dog stack. <laughs> big dog stack. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> this will be 
180 in. Part five. So let's see if I can hit another. Beautiful draw. Another beautiful draw. That was a nice draw a couple holes ago. Let's see. That was not a, a draw. It's your nice 170 shot. Yeah. Leave you 157 in. Yep. Yeah. That should be really good. Mm -hmm. That should be really good. That's what you call taking your medicine. Take your medicine. You, you got the virus, you gotta take your medicine. You gotta take Nice. Mm. That's nice. Damn. That was a nice shot. So thank you. You couldn't see the ball fly, but he <laughs> went right below that tree with a nice little riser, and it got right over there on the left side of the green right there. Hey, I got a 150 shot. It's a big green, so I'm gonna just make sure I get it on there. So what you gonna do with this ball below your feet when you know it's gonna screw it out to the right? I'm gonna turn left. So yeah, y'all know when the ball below your feet. It's easy to go right. You have to stay down. Your knees gotta stay bent. This shot ain't for the um, the guys with them bad knees. <laughs> you cannot be quick. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work in the, in the green left side, you know what I'm saying? Stay down on it. Putting uh, for birdie right there, right? Yep, putting for birdie. Finally got two good golf shots in a row. So hopefully we can keep it that way. Hey. So what you gonna hit, a check shot or you gonna like let it run? No, I'm probably gonna hit it with it coming out of this, it's kind of thick stuff. I really don't know how it's gonna react. But my plan is to play a runner. Alright, that's a good plan. Probably land it like right by your ball and let it feed back to the oh it looks like it's gonna come back to the, the left. It looks like it's going left. So we'll see. Just With go that right hill right there. Yeah, we'll go right at it. Always gotta have a game plan, folks. Got to. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Nice shot, dog. Thank you. And you know when it's a good shot, we can find the middle of the club face. Four grooves up. Holla at your boy. All right, I got a, a long putt here. What's this, about 15 yards? 20 yards? Um, uh, probably say like 20-ish. 60 foot putt? See if I can drop a bomb in this thing. Oh, what was that? Oh, what is that, man? Hmm. I got a feeling it's about to go in. And Told you. Oh! Ah! You popped <laughs> All right, Bryce, you gonna give him the rundown the last hole? All right, so look. Do whatever it takes to win. I'm down one, but I feel like I hit some good shots in the last hole. This is a tough hole. Check it out, check it out. This is you a tough hole. You cannot hit a hit. glaring shot right. right. If you hit it right, it's in the water and you're dropping the shot. If you don't get it, far enough out there your ball is most likely going to trickle into the water so you have to get the ball like really like out there so this is a tough hole it's a uh, very demanding tee shot but nothing that he can't handle nothing that i can't handle 
Just gotta hit a good ball. Go Bryce. Come on now. Dial in. Fourth quarter. Third and three. <laughs> Freaking Tony Romo looking for you right now. And I'm ready. <laughs> Good ball. Thank you, sir. It's turning. Oh, nice, go, nice, yeah. nice. All right, last hole. I'm on the fairway. Passing the sand trap. I think I'm over it. Just saying. <laughs> uh, he, I think he's in the sand trap. It might have rolled out, but I think it, I saw sand kick up. But maybe not. If he's not, I mean, he ain't. We got a tough, another tough second shot going in. We got to hit over water again. So yeah. it's going to be cool. Ball below my feet again. Low ball. Should hit and stop. Yep, shot ball. B. It's a clutch shot. It's a clutch shot. Now don't you try to John run me now. That sets me with a two stroke. No, no, no. Now I'm messing with you. <laughs> John Rahm was like, what? Yeah, he's like, what? I don't know. Are you kidding me right now? I wanna thank my grandma. <laughs> Alright. I'll just sit right there. Sit, sit, sit. Ah. Another bunker. Another bunker. We'll be all right, though. All right. See what we got. Got to get up and down from there. It's not bad. It's golf. All you got to do is par it. Yeah. Got to get up and down from there. Find a way. Got to find a way, P2. Got another bucket shot. This one looks like it's a little uphill. Open that club face open again. Like I said, back of my heel. Dig in. Should be going back to the right, to the water. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that was freaky. Come on, B. Get in there for him. Come on, come on. Oh, oh. Man, back to the right a little bit. Ah, I thought it was going to come back. All right, we got a playoff hole. We tied it up. It's tied up. Playoff hole it is. All right, so obviously, it's been a tough se tough year, tough 2020. Yep. Um, there's been a lot of different things been going on, but you know, football season, te technically, will be, we will be going into camp next week, a couple yep. days, actually. Um, they have not come up with a solid agreement yet. What do you expect this year for the season? Man, it's, I mean, honestly, everything is literally up in the air. I'm, I'm very optimistic that, you know, depending on how MLB and the NBA does, which is the NBA is on a, on a tight, uh, you know, regiment right now, those guys in that bubble, yep. as they like to um, allude to. Um, and it's hard for us to be in the bubble with being 53 men, it's just a lot going, a lot of moving parts in, in the NFL. So, um, um, it, honestly, I, it depends on how those other major leagues um, end up playing out. Mm -hmm. But I think if we can, you know, get the right protocol in place as far as with the testing and how guys handle it after they get, if they uh, become positive on the, uh, on the test, 
I think uh, we can move forward. But it's going to be kind of, kind of. It's going to be interesting to see how it how it goes during the season because, say, for your your starting quarterback gets it, now he's out for two weeks, or your starting quarterback and three offensive linemen gets it. That's you know a bulk of your team right there. So. And you got the and you got a big divisional rivalry game. Right. You know what I'm and saying? Those, and every game matters in the league. Right. You know, as you as you know, so it, it it's gonna it's gonna be a weird year, but hopefully the NFL and the NFLPA can come to a, an agreement to where we all can be safe and play the game that we love. Got it right over the tree. In play. We are in play. That's all, that's the name of the game. Keep the ball in play. I gotta make this to put some pressure on him. All right, good. Dad ain't hit hard enough. All right, Pat, for the birdie. For the bird. My That's guy. Fun, man. Always a pleasure, bro. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Coming out, talking to the folks, talking to the people. Had a good, a good dive into my guy's life, how my guy thinks about the golf game, how he sees the golf game in the future. Um, and just being able to play. There was no winner today, but the winner is you guys for tuning in. If you like the video, subscribe, hit the like button, and we got more people like Pat P that's gonna come out and show you guys into their lives and into their golf games. So I appreciate Pat P for coming out, man. Oh, and good luck this season. Yes, sir.